Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today is Tarot Day. Okay, it is the 4th of September. So this will go through for the next week. So today I've now got all my cards here and they're just telling me today to start with my little lovey dovey cards again. So as I get one of my little lovey dovey cards, I'm going to tell you a little story about a movie that I watched. A lesson. Here we go. Okay, so knock three times to connect I always connect with my cards before I do a reading and what I'm looking for today is a message that we on the right side of the universal love and light need to hear this week please come through and give me one card okay so while I shuffle oh I got him look there it is straight away it popped out there it goes it fell I've got my card okay oh that was so quick today thank you so much Okay, so now I've got to go to Anna Hatta Creations by the lovely Louise Benton. There's her link. Her link is descript, um, down in, below in the description if you do want to go and buy a pack. Okay, here's my cards. I'm going to shuffle these and tell you about... Oh, the movie that I watched was called... Uh, okay, the movie that I watched was called Ocean's Eleven. It starred... George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Julia Roberts, okay, you know the movie, Ocean's Eleven, there's a line in there, okay, so just to give you a little backstory, okay, George Clooney's character gets out of jail, no, that's, that's actually, oh, that was the one that was sticking out, did you see that, I got that one today too, oh, okay, um, this one here also dropped as well so I'm going to do a double one today because it yeah just feels right to, it just feels right so we've got to go with our guts guys you know if you're drawing cards for somebody and you do get one out just ask yourself is that the right card and you'll hear yes or no I'm actually hearing both of those cards today and I've never done two of the Louise Benton range before okay so let's get rid of that so now that I go over to my deck of tarot cards let's just keep going on with the okay with the movie what happened in this movie was George Clooney got out of jail his wife left him Julia Roberts had left him he finds out that she is now seeing the guy who owns all the casinos that he's now going to rob why is he going to rob this hotel Brad Pitt finds out and he goes up to George Clooney and he says, tell me this isn't about screwing the guy who's screwing your ex, your wife. Tell me this isn't about screwing, now there's my card, look there it is, it's popped out. Tell me that this isn't about the guy screwing, screwing the guy who's screwing your wife. So let's talk about it because that line has stuck with me for two days since I watched the movie now. So let's talk about why do people do things to others when things don't go as according to how we want it. We have to do, well, not all of us, but how many times now are you seeing people doing retribution? They're doing retaliation? And most of all, it's like they're doing revenge acts on others. We as a society now all over the world people are starting to feel privileged they feel that they deserve to be treated better than they have over the, for the last two years right so what is actually going on here is that everybody that's doing these actions is holding on to a grudge think about that for a moment while I just open up my little bag of ruins okay a lot of people have got a grudge have you noticed it how many people out there now are walking around with like this they feel like they deserve so they push in the cues I've noticed it how many people don't say thank you anymore that they just deserve to be out there doing things okay so this is what I want to talk to you about today and won't it be funny if the cards say what I'm talking about okay so let me now just get a ruined stone. Thank you so much. Let me have a, please give me a stone that represents what the whole of us and the right side of this universal world, what we need to hear for the next 
seven days. Oh, he's down in under there. It's that one. Okay, so I'm pulling one out. Oh, I haven't had this guy for a while. It's this one. Okay, so this is where we have to ask ourselves, guys. Do we want to be on that side of the fence? where we become conceited enough where we only think about ourselves so then when we go out into public or the, even the shops or cinemas or wherever else we go we're treating others with less value and we're holding on to grudges because things didn't go in accordance with how we wanted them to bang that's what happened in that movie thank goodness they did get the money but then what happened let's go there karma karma the guy who owns ted um benedict the guy that owns all the three casinos that they robbed in the movie oceans 11 he finds them he tracks them down so he creates that karma so from one action which was are you screwing over the guy who's screwing your ex-wife? They had to make three movies out of it. Oceans 11, Oceans 12 and Oceans 13. Because that guy had a grudge. Instead of dealing with the fact that his wife had her own free will, could do what she want, he could have gotten her back in other ways. He didn't have to go out there and steal 169 million dollars from the guy who's now got his ex-wife did he he didn't have to do that did he no there were other ways he could have started sending her anonymous flowers he could have let her know hey it's me i'm back this is me i'm changed do you want to come home he could have done a lot of other things not including benedict in this okay so look at our own lives this week guys are we treating other people with the respect, the dignity, and most of all, the value that other people deserve? Okay? Don't ever diminish other people. Don't talk down at people. Don't gossip about people unless it's good things. Oh, did you hear that she just got this huge award? Yay, I'm so proud of her. That's what we talk about, okay? Don't talk about people being negative. If there's anything negative going on, keep it to yourself and ask yourself, why am I listening to that in my own head? Why am I remembering that for? I don't want to remember that person for being a bad person. I want to remember everybody for being good and doing valuable work. Okay? So let's go into the cards. My first one, the little lovey-dovey card. Love would go for a walk in the sunshine. Now this is the cards I got last week. Okay, or the week before. Love would go for a walk in the sunshine. So it's like we're on um, Groundhog Day here. We've got the same thing happening again. Okay, now when we mention going for a walk in the sunshine, it doesn't mean actual sunshine. We could go for a walk through our memories inside our head. Okay, we could go for a run. We could go for a drive. We don't have to go for a walk. But it's that... That appreciation is what this card is talking about. Appreciate every single moment that we're going through. Don't hang on to the grudges ah, of what this movie taught me this week. Okay? Oceans 11 and then the sequels are Oceans 12 and Oceans 13. I'm sure you may have heard of it. Brad Pitt, George Clooney and Julia Roberts. Okay? So we've got two cards this week from from Louise Benton oh I love it one is the illumination card I'll just put it there if you want to pause the screen and the other one is the communion card so what do these two mean together and how do they relate to this one love would go for a walk in the sunshine okay the communion card I am an integration of spirit and form and I embrace the sensuous beauty of this world. Then go out and appreciate it, guys. This is the week where we start spreading our love and our great positive vibes to others around us, okay? The Illumination card. Oh, my God. By reclaiming our sovereignty. I hope you're all keeping up with the subtle 
messages I try to keep give you is, okay? We can embrace the truth. <laughs> All these lies are falling apart, guys. Isn't it great? Of what we are. Oh, yet yeah, we can embrace the truth of what we are and begin creating a future based on our dreams and desires for a better world. So this is all about getting out there and illuminating our energy. Do you want to be on the side of the fence like George Clooney where he had a major grudge that they didn't just make one sequel, they had to make two about it? <laughs> oh my God. Or do you want to be out there holding on to the communion of life and realizing that we are part of this sensual beauty of this world where we are the creators of our own reality? That's what the cards are saying this week, which is like Groundhog Day from last week, yeah? But they're really, I can tell you right now, Dance, that they're really pushing it into us this week. They're saying, you want it, then you've got to fight for it. And believe me, this is a fight. We've got to fight for what we believe in, guys. Oh, my God. We've got to fight for love here. Okay? Not just sex. It's not about that. It's about appreciation, respect, trust. It's about value, self-expression. Oh, did I just mention freedom of speech? Oh, oh, oh. It's all about living up to the person that we want to be and what those around us, what we value, treasure and adore in others around us as well. Alrighty, so now I'm going over to my card from the tarot that I got. Bingo! Alrighty, I've got to find him first. Here it is. I have in my cards this week. I love aces and it's the ace of pentacles that got thrown out at me. Here it is in my book, the ace of pentacles. So I'm about to read what this guy says before I go to the ruin stone. The ace of pentacles represents prosperity and material gains. The beginning of successful endeavors that bring good financial reward. Brownie points are coming to us, guys. Okay. So this would be an excellent card if you were looking to start a new business venture. It can signify documents that hold material importance, such as company accounts, education certificates or diplomas, marriage contracts, inheritance documents, such as wills, bank accounts or house deeds. Sometimes it may represent an important letter being received, although frequently it would be an official or monetary nature. So this is where, guys... The, val the cards are saying we are getting those brownie points for the good work that we've been doing. We've held on to our virtue. We've held on to our integrity for three long years and they can't break us. So this is where we sit there and we say, you know what? I do deserve happiness. I do deserve those brownie points. I don't expect them because I'm humbled. But at the end of the day, I do deserve some sort of recognition for me being this pivotal part of this game war where we've got to stand in ourselves, our own sovereignty. Go and research what is your own sovereignty. You're about to be surprised. Because that is what they are trying to take away, if you haven't worked it out already. Okay, so my little, I've found him all right already. He's this one here. It's this one here, right? He is called Fehu. Okay. Fehu is the cattle. Now, the sheep. Okay. Oh, now I've had this cart, this ruin stone before too. Okay. It's the cattle. Okay, this, car, this stone represents an ancient primary source of wealth and status. You know in some traditions where you get married and you get the goats? 
because that's like your dowry, right? <laughs> so cattle. Okay, the symbol of earned income or success, something worked for it to generate a return. So let's go up, phase up. We've got prosperity, good fortune. Success in financial or relationship matters due to hard work or actions. Signal not to give up on your current goals. So don't give up on your current goals. If your goal is to achieve something in five years and you're only two years into it, don't give up. You've still got three years to go, okay? Don't give up. Don't just sit down and say, oh, I can't do this. It's too hard, okay? Last one says, if surrounded by negative ruins, <laughs> well, it's not, okay? <laughs> Won't even read it because it's not. All the cards and fancy getting an ace in the mix because I believe the aces are the best cards in the tarot. These can be better than the major encarnas, okay? Love would go for a walk in the sunshine. This is where we release. We let go of all the hurt, pain, sorrows. Let go of all the grief. Let go of all these other people's opinions. Let go of what other people think of you. The only person that matters is ultimately us. The only person that you need to impress or live up to the expectations of is you. Don't let other people diminish the power, the almighty strength and the love of you. Go out there, be that beacon of a light and illuminate look illumination card illuminate and get it out there and show people that you are that integration of all of it coming together because together we stand strong together we are this powerhouse that cannot be ever destroyed love is all guys I hope you've liked today's reading oh it's great work guys all my details are below in the description if you do want to check me out further nothing said there no visuals today love is all bye